Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl here, back with another episode. And as we know, the iPad Pro just came out close to a month ago, and I said I would do my full review when their Magic Keyboard was released. That just came out today, and it's the same keyboard found on Apple's iMac. I've got this one right here. This was taken from my iMac Pro. It has the same scissor switch mechanism, so it should really bridge the gap between a dedicated iPad and say a tablet. It also has a built-in trackpad, as we know the iPad Pros now support that. Let's get this out of the box, pair them and see if the hype is real. You can see the design of the Magic Keyboard. It also acts as a case. I do have my 11 inch iPad Pro over here. Keep in mind that this thing costs $300 or if you have the larger iPad Pro, that will set you back 350 bones. So that is a third of the price of the actual device. It's a ton of money for an accessory. I'm hoping it is worth it. We've got a little pull tab right here. Let's start unboxing. And do keep in mind that this is compatible with both the first gen and second gen iPad Pro. So if you have last year's, this is also applicable. So we've got the Magic Keyboard up top that is pretty standard and nothing else. Okay, so it's got that hard touch plastic up top and inside this is I guess where all that extra info is. Designed by California in Apple, we've got good old user manuals. Sadly, no Apple stickers. That's a big shame. For $300, I would have thought you would have got that. And the first thing I do notice, the build quality is super rigid and strong. It's not like a traditional case. There is no wobble or give to it. So this hinge mechanism must be pretty good. You also see we have a USB-C pass-through cable right here. I've got the smart keyboard folio over here. This is the other case that Apple does offer. It's got the same hard touch plastic on the top. You can see the iPad Pro camera cutout, but this case is way flimsier. It feels way less premium. Of course, the price justifies that. You can see the Magic Keyboard does stay still and rigid, whereas this guy, the smart folio, it's a bit floppy. As I mentioned, the keys on the smart keyboard are the exact same ones found on say my iMac Pro, the new MacBook Airs, the new MacBook Pros. It is the exact same mechanism. So the thing that I've been most excited to try is how the iPad snaps to the smart keyboard. It should technically be floating. So you can see the keyboard now, it stays perfectly still. And if we put the iPad on, I think that is secure. So it does connect via magnets and right now we have a gap at the bottom. So technically we have a floating iPad. It's magic. And it feels way sturdier than the smart folio. If you did grab this, return it if you can. This just feels so much more professional. It feels like both are paired to be together. They feel like they belong together. Whereas I think the smart folio sometimes is almost a bit of an afterthought. The build on it is up to Apple standard. Of course it should be, it's $300. I'm curious how the rubber will fare over time. I know that sometimes the front of the case or even the back does degrade a bit, but the actual keyboard and trackpad mechanism, those feel very, very solid. It feels like I'm running a fully functional laptop with of course just iOS. It's got all of the same gestures as a magic trackpad and it almost feels too much like a laptop experience. I find myself pressing Apple W to minimize a window. Obviously that doesn't work on iOS. We've got things like command tab to switch between apps and I'm sure Apple will think of that as time goes on. Probably a developer will take full advantage of all the shortcuts that you can use with a full keyboard. So does this $300 keyboard fully change the iPad Pro? And I think that's a mixed answer. There are definitely a lot of pros to it. I think it's a great accessory. It combines everything that you need into one, but you also have to consider it's 300 extra dollars. So when you take the price of say an iPad Pro, a thousand bucks, that's baseline storage. You add the trackpad, 300 bucks. You even add the Apple Pencil, that's an extra $120. You're close to that $1,500 price point. Whereas the MacBook Airs, you can grab a decently spec one for around $1,100. But I am personally still way more productive over on a laptop, but I know there are a ton of you that consider the iPad Pro as your only main device. I think that's why this thing is great. It really bridges the gap between a tablet and a laptop. 
I know iPads are great for artists, for designers, for students, even business professionals get by on just one device. I think this keyboard is a great addition to their accessories line and just like all things Apple, you sadly have to pay for some of that greatness. Also keep in mind, if you have last gen's iPad Pro, this keyboard will work with that, so that will breathe a ton of new life into it. I think it's great that we've got USB-C pass-through so you can still charge the device and it doesn't look too weird when it's mounted in this form. This accessory is still a case though. I'm curious how it will hold up over time. I do wish it was harder plastic and not the soft touch in the front and back. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Are you excited for the new Magic Keyboard? I think typing on it now is way better. I'm way more productive. I can bang out emails quicker. I will keep you guys updated on social, how the longevity of this case will go. And I could see myself using this instead of my MacBook Air for the next couple months. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of Apple's brand new iPad Pro accessory. Keep posted to the channel for my next vid or vlog. Peace.